Steve Sarkeesian is the new head football coach at Texas, named to that gig shortly after the Longhorns fired Tom Herman. That's a $25 million show you the door in Austin. Herman, 15, his coach is 10. He lasted four seasons. Sarkeesian has seven years head coaching on his resume. Battled addiction, currently the offensive coordinator at Alabama, will roll with the tide through the title game next week. I have to say I'm uh, a lot of emotions, but but all the good ones, right? I'm, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm honored. Uh, I'm humbled. Um, this morning I was on the phone with my parents. My, my dad's 84 years old, and I mentioned about, you know, I, was, I think I'm getting this Texas head coaching job. And he said, you know, about 20 years ago you told me, Dad, that's the job. That's the best job in America. And uh, it's amazing to think. Here we are. Um, I want when people when people watch us play that they're proud of the brand of football that we put on the field. But it's also a disciplined, physical style of football uh, that is going to be needed to win championships. Texas had the fifth most ESPN 300 recruits from 2017 through 2020, but they haven't had nearly the level of success as the other top teams to recruit that well. You see the names on the board there, the Longhorns, 33rd. By the way, in 2022, Texas hosts Alabama. Let's bring in Jesse Palmer. You love the Sarkeesian hire. Why? I do. I think anywhere Steve Sarkeesian's been, they've been able to develop quarterbacks at Washington, USC, or Alabama. And I think one of the biggest keys in a program sustaining success long term is having a high level play at the QB position. Even after a guy gets drafted or graduates, next guy steps in and plays at a high level. You see that at Alabama, Ohio State, and Clemson year after year. We haven't seen that at Texas. There's been a lot of mediocre quarterback play split in between Colt McCoy and Sam Ellinger. I think that's one of the big reasons why their last Big 12 championship came back in 2009. So you take a look at Sarkeesian's resume of quarterbacks, Carson Palmer, Matt Leinart, Jake Locker, Mark Sanchez, Tua, and now Mac Jones. He'll be able to recruit good quarterbacks year after year and start to build consistency at that, at that position. Well, you mentioned Ellinger as being one of the good quarterbacks. That's who Herman had. So why didn't it work for Tom Herman? This season throughout the year just wasn't good enough on defense early. There was a switch over at both Nader positions uh, on both sides of the ball as well. At the end of the day, just from recruiting and missing at key positions and obviously not winning the key games over the course of four years, Tom Herman, they weren't able to win more than five games in conference three of those years. The expectation simply at Texas what they can recruit is to win Big 12 championships and get to the college football playoff. Ultimately, I think there was a lot said in that statement by the university. There was measurable progress over the course of four years. Things were getting better, just not getting better quick enough. And now it's Steve Sarkeesian's turn. Charlie Strong got three years. Tom Herman got four. Somebody tweeted, hey, they're either incompetent or impatient when it comes mm -hmm. to hiring head football coaches at Texas. What are they? Well, I think they're, they're certainly impatient, but listen, I think uh, today in college football in 2020, you're expected to win now. Four years for Tom Herman certainly doesn't seem like a lot, but when you take a look, I think, at the budget Texas has with what they can recruit in their facilities, they feel like they should be competing, and I think they should be competing for Big 12 championships year in, year out. Jesse Palmer on Steve Sarkeesian in and Tom Herman out at Texas. If it wasn't for second chances, we'd all be alone. Lane Kiff and Steve Sarkeesian, they've got history together on the same staff at USC under Pete Carroll. Both eventually became head coaches at USC. Then they were on the uh, Alabama staff under Nick Saban. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.